Hey guys, Penny here and welcome to a Monaco Nail Academy Salon Snippet, the mini-sodes of our Salon Success podcast coming to you in between each major episode. So this week we are asking, on behalf of Brittany, of all the brands available to us to test, what are the biggest factors to do with product themselves that the hosts are drawn to and how do we narrow down to a handful of brands to test? Okay, my first thought is, what's your priority? So for me, I use Artistic. The main reason why, it was very easy for me to get with my location. That's what I trained with. That's what I knew. I never had any issues with it. I trusted it, so I just have stuck with Artistic. I have never strayed from Artistic. So what's your priority? You know, cost, location, accessibility, figure out that, and then decide from there where you go. Leone, what are the biggest factors to do with product that you were prioritizing? Um, availability, accessibility, price breakdown, uh, relationships with the suppliers so that if I have any extra questions or need any information, that they're easy to get hold of and willing to talk to me. Um, and trust in the product I guess but in saying that I do distribute myself across three main brands because the whole COVID thing people couldn't get anything so you didn't want to be stuck with not being able to access somebody's top coat or somebody's base coat or something that was really going to impact your service. I think for me when I first first started my course came with a kit and I was an empty and went for like the big bells and whistles shebang kit that they offered that had like a desk and like retail stuff and like it was I still had half that retail stuff like five years later anyways I just did what they told me to do I was the exact same with the course itself I didn't research courses I just did the one that someone had told me was good um and so I used that brand for ages and then when I went full-time I was like, I'm going to branch out and go to a few extra like classes and try and be like the best nail tech I can be. And one of the first things I went to was a Minx class, um, which was like Jamberry, but professional only. Um, And they had color gloss there. And I, you know how sometimes at things they'll put stickers under the chair. And if the sticker's under your chair, you win a thing. I won the latest color gloss collection, like six gel polishes, which at the time being fairly new, I think I had 20. So like just drastically increased my color offering. And so of course, then I bought the top and base coat. I didn't buy the matching lamp at the start um, because I was like, I'll just trial it and see what happens. Uh, As soon as I started trialing it on people, I started subconsciously, pushing people towards the that swatch wheel like I'd be like yeah that one's pretty but what about this one like trying to get them to get artistic and what I was realizing was all the issues I had had with the other brand that I just put down to like it's just how gel is or like it's it's just how things are I just all gel needs to be babied to get it to not have pit marks in it um they didn't happen with artistic And so then I just basically almost altogether started just getting people to choose from the color gloss wheels and building up that collection and eventually just got rid of the other brand. So for me, the number one priority was that it worked, but I was basically the same as Mel at the start. I just got the thing that was easy to get and that I could get help with. And turns out that wasn't the best option. Um, but you, like Mel was saying in our previous full episode, you don't know what you don't know. So it really was just, I went to stuff and played with the products. And I think it's different now, post COVID, we don't have so many in-person um, classes. Like I, you could go to one a month if you wanted to back then. Um, and we don't have them available to us so much anymore, but go book and get your nails done with somebody that uses a brand that you think you like the look of. Like um, find nail techs that you like their work, that you think that they are reputable. So, you know, they must be using a reputable brand if they seem to be really fully booked. Um, because if they were using ship products, surely they wouldn't be fully booked and then book and get your nails done with them so that you can 
wear the product and maybe narrow it down that way. Actually, if I can, if I just bump in there too, that's another great reason for being affiliated with somebody like Monaco, where you have a great community with lots of different nail techs, all using lots of different products. There's been a couple of girls that I've talked to lately and, and they've got products that I haven't used before and they love them for whatever their reasons are. And we've said, yeah, well, let's catch up and you can do my nails with your products and I'll do your nails with my products. And so you can get to try different products and also wear them to see how they go long term, which is like great but you've only got that if you have a community of people that you can talk to I forget not everybody has that <laughs> I was used to it now yeah we're lucky <laughs> Alrighty, hopefully that answers your question Brittany we'll be back next week with another full episode of Salon Success <laughs>